After Governor Mike Parson signed a statewide ban of unregulated Delta 8 products, some are praising the governor's stance, others say they feel attacked. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Beginning next month, businesses could face penalties for keeping the soon-to-be illegal products on their shelves. Color 10's Michaela Strickland is live after talking with the CEO of Missouri's largest legal cannabis operator, who says the ban is a step in the right direction. Because these psychoactive products look similar to everyday items, John Mueller, the CEO of Greenlight, says that Missourians will be safer now that these bans will be taking place shortly. I think what the governor did yesterday is, is protect the, the consumers of, uh, of uh, the great state of Missouri. So we, we, are, we are thrilled with that and, uh, and, and feel like that uh, Missouri is a safer place because of it. Executive Order 24-10 bans the sale of hemp-infused products with psychoactive cannabis compounds, also known as Delta-8. The products have to come from an approved source to be sold to customers, but the state of Missouri nor the Food and Drug Administration recognizes any approved sources. And I believe the, the people that are carrying on that shelf a lot of times uh, have no idea what's in that product. So those products are coming from all over the country and outside the country, not going through the FDA or, or you know the USDA or any other regulatory body that's uh, protecting consumers from basically ingesting something that you're unaware of. During Thursday's press conference, Governor Mike Parson spoke about the ban, questioning the safety of the products. These companies and these people that are profiting off of this type of material to give it to our children needs to stop. And no excuses, it needs to stop. If they want to do it, do it the right way. While some are supportive of the ban, others aren't so accepting. Blake Swindle is the CEO of Swin Dispensaries and says that things will have to change in his stores. If they're trying to hit closer to the regulation of marijuana edibles with our hemp defined products, we will have to remove images of fruit off of these packages. So I'll either be pulling the product or I'll be getting with the company to create new packaging to better suit that regulation. The Missouri Hemp Trade Association has spoken out against the ban as well, saying this executive order not only impacts the sale of psychoactive cannabis products, but also threatens the livelihoods of many businesses operating within the hemp sector. It's essential that all stakeholders and customers come together to address this challenge head on. Unity is our strength, and together we can fight for our rights in the future of the Missouri hemp industry. The ban on these psychoactive products will take place on September 1st. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Michaela Strickland, Color 10 News.